okay guys so so today is our demo session the first day okay and today we are going to discuss what are the things that we are going to cover in the this this complete 40 year series okay so before that i would like to give my small introduction okay so my name is mahesh dansena okay my name is mahesh dansena i'm having 10 plus years of experience okay 10 plus years of experience is uh, currently i'm working with one of the organization psr it services which is a sales and services based company uh, where my responsibility is to handle multiple technologies like fortigate palo alto sophos and many other technologies like checkpoint and uh, uh, sonic wall uh, juniper many other technologies are there that i'm, I'm attending and uh, i'm doing the you know I'm, I'm giving the service to the clients based on their requirement and based on the sow we are configuring okay so in this 10 i'm having uh, as i said like i'm having 10 years 10 plus years exp of experience so in this 10 years i started myself as a desktop support engineer only okay since in 2013 i started as a desktop support engineer from there i started uh, i kept learning uh, okay so i would like to suggest you guys don't be uh, you know don't be stick with your current uh, roles and responsibility because market is a very very you know grooming um, the fast grooming okay this it industry is a very fast grooming that we have to be you know uh, we have to you know uh, chase this chase that uh, speed right so uh, earlier what uh, as a network engineer we are just responsible about the networking then the connectivity of the router and switches and the user connectivity correct nowadays the uh, organization is looking the engineer who is having a you know multi multitasking like in cricket we are having all rounder right all rounder who can do a you know bowling, baiting, and some and the fielding and many more things that are responsible who can handle all the situation, right? So, like that, if you are looking for the you know in your great career and great future in this industry, so you, you need to be uh, you need to do some dedication and the hard work for some years to be to you know to to complete these things, okay? So uh, <clears throat> so nowadays the market requirement is routing and switching not only ccna also a ccnp label okay but after that they are not just looking for the 40 gate they are also looking for the palo alto okay palo alto and they're looking for the checkpoint they're looking for uh anasonic wall so forth many other things right after that they are also looking for the aws cloud any any cloud services right and uh, some some part of uh, our uh, this server parts okay so by listening this this sounds like uh since how long i need to learn for this that these things right it is very easy when you are fundamental is a strong fundamental is a strong link ccna if if your ccna is a ccna fundamental is a strong then you can you don't need to be you know worry about the come to complete the ccnp to complete the 40 gate to complete the palo alto to complete the checkpoint to complete the suppose and many others other firewall technology along with if, if you talk about the juniper also you can if you talk about the aruba you can okay so now now aws also you cannot it will not that much of uh, you know tough in after that uh, if you are experienced that the organization will expecting something extraordinary from your side like sdn technology sdn technology okay sd access technology many others technology as there okay but we cannot predict who who the which organization is looking what right but whatever our capacity that we need to be I'll learn that Correct? Am I, guys, am I audible? Guys, please respond. Yeah. Yeah. I'm audible, correct? Yes. yes. Good. Uh, someone new is on queue, right? Okay. Uh, Salman, do you have any question? Please tell me. Salman. No, sir, you asked me uh, you are audible okay. or not, so that's why I replied. No, okay. no, no problem, no problem, no problem. So unmute yourself and ask me instant question because I am unable to see the you know message box. Okay. Okay, guys. So before that, uh I would like to just show you something. Uh, this is my uh, VMware, okay. And how we are going to do the you know, how we are going to perform our uh, uh, this practice. So in in here okay 
here itself we can we need to you know like this is this will be our topology so let me stop this all these things okay so we will our our practice will be uh, po uh, possible into evng only so for that you need to be you need to have a laptop or desktop with a good configuration okay minimum at least 16 gb of ram for the better performance okay and the things which you are going to cover that i'm going to you know tell you one by one so just follow this very first day uh, we will uh, on monday we will discuss about uh, our uh, fundamentals routing fundamentals uh, not firewall fundamentals okay first day we are going to discuss about the fundamentals then second day we will i'll help you guys to set up the lab okay in your laptops uh, after that we need to do a basic configuration of the firewall the first time how you're going to configure the firewall by default id password what is the by default id password and what is the by default a uh, management ip of this firewall okay after that we are going to discuss about the ipv4 static routing and the default routing okay so what is the static routing i believe you guys are aware about that static routing and the default routing okay so that we are we are going to configure in the c first everything we will first will do a configuration with the graphical user interface mode then after that the same thing we will configure in the cli mode and also we will go in every 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 uh, concept we have uh, some you know t suit command so in every everywhere we will use a different kind of t troubleshoot command okay so for that also we need to understand about the cli mode got it clear after that i uh, will will uh, fortigat is not a by default or zone based firewall we need to create a zone to establish the communication between one zone to within a one zone to another zone okay clear after that we we have to go you know, we we need to you know configure a rip and a ospf how we are going to configure rip into the fortigate how we will configure ospf into the fortigate ospf and also we will configure you know eigrp into the routers uh, like this okay like this we have to configure the uh, eigrp and uh, ospf okay so this is our ospf to topology so here you will get to know uh i'm just showing you uh, this is our ospf okay ospf network which is a part of this router one okay this r1 is a part of area one this this network is a area this is a part of area two this will become a part of our area three then this will become our part of our area four okay so in every area these are ospf this is our area zero and backbone area and this is our area one and this is our area four but there is an eigrp also right and this is a ospf area two which is indirect which is not directly connected with the area zero so how this routing the how this uh, you know this network will establish the communication uh without directly connecting with the area zero that we will cover how this how the redistribution is possible from the uh, in uh, from eigrp to inside the ospf how we are going to uh, you know um, exchanging the routing table between the two different uh, routing protocols clear in the same way in the same way uh, we have another concept as well so after ospf we have to go for the net net is net is a very important concept i believe you guys are aware about this anyone You guys are aware? Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, guys, am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, so, yes, sir. So what I'm telling you, uh, so this these things, uh, the uh, this uh, netting, netting. Why we are why the netting is requirement? Let's suppose we have a internet. Okay. Let's suppose we have a internet. Uh, this is an our. Let's suppose where do I need to? This is a user. Okay. This is a user inside. Which is directly connected with the, our um, a firewall, okay? And firewall from uh, one of the ISP we connected, uh, we we you know get a one uh, you know internet connectivity from this ISP. So ISP will definitely give us some IP address. Let's suppose one dot one dot one dot one, and the gateway will be a one dot one dot anything one dot two we are considering. And this is our user which is connected with the switch, and switch is this is our LAN network. And here we are having 192.168.10.0 series slash 24. This series we are having. So by default, private IP cannot communicate with the public IP, and public IP cannot communicate with the private IP. Okay. So, yes. so how the the user can how the user can 
go you know by using a private api how the user can reach to the google facebook youtube means public networks that we need to create a, you know we need to first we need to discuss about the netting what kind of netting we are having what kind of you know the static net dynamic net static paid destination paid destination network many things are there that we will cover in this journey okay and also we need to uh, you know create some topology about uh, let's suppose we have a some this, this with this network we have a one server this is our official web server which we wanted to allow uh, this is our internet and under the internet like us we have we are we are not directly connected with the youtube facebook but we are able to still able to access the youtube facebook right from the, our personal mobile network correct yes like how how the organization is is you know uh, 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 running their website for the uh, public user let's suppose this is a new user how this user can access this private user uh, their website uh, by hitting the public network okay so the out for how we are allowing the uh, to access the outside user to to enter in our our, our network our private network okay not only the in, uh, pub, uh, you know inside to outside but outside user also can reach to our inside by 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 the net net concept only okay clear yes sir. guy please guys just let me know if i am going fast in case of it if you ask me to if you tell me to go slow i will i will go slow otherwise i will consider you everything you guys are getting okay slow or is it fine the speed sir okay all okay fine yes, so uh, there is many network static net dynamic nets are there okay so now after that uh, after that we have to go we need to understand about the you know um, user group authentication use let me let me see the message okay just a minute guys. yeah so so group authentication user group authentication how you are allowing the user to you know in for the inside or outside access okay after that we have to create a side to side vpn let's suppose we have we have some branch these are branch are connected with the internet okay firewall and this firewall and this firewall both the firewall is connected from uh, one of the uh, internet and there is a switch and switch and inside the switch there is user are seated okay but uh, let's suppose this is a 1.1.1.1 and this is a 2.2.2.2 and this is a 2.2.2.1 and this is a 1.1.1.2 okay how we are going to create a you know secure tunnel between uh, to establish the communication you know over the public network and why vpn is required okay and what uh, what uh, how many ways that we can configure that vpn and uh, after that uh, mm, we have to consider configure the vpn with the graphical user interface mode and the cli mode okay and uh, after that we have to think about you know uh, let's suppose we cannot consider like we are using a fortigate firewall so other client can also use the fortigate only no they can they can uh, they might access the uh, cisco routers only they might uh, access uh, they might having a you know palo alto they might having a checkpoint they might having a juniper so how we are going to establish the you know tunnel the ipsec tunnel between two within a multiple vendors like juniper like cisco like asa like uh, for juni uh, no checkpoint that also we are going to cover by by establish this this kind of topology okay so just a minute i'll show you the topology <coughs> so if you take about the ipsec tunnel so this is about the one to one like when 40 gate to 40 gate but when we don't have a 40 gate firewall in let's suppose we are having a 40 gate but another client is having a router another client is having just a uh, you know a firewall uh, asa uh, uh, juniper or the another like you know palo alto then in this condition how we are going to you know configure uh, ipsec tunnel between two different uh, multiple tech, multiple vendors we can say okay so how their you know into in user is, uh, connectivity is possible that we can we can uh, we will do the we will do the over the practice practice only okay so after that we are having a transparent firewall so transparent firewall is nothing but the transparent firewall uh, we can consider as a let suppose we have a one one client okay the client is already running okay already already running with one of the network okay 
uh, by the router there is a router and another branch is also having a router that is a switch okay and there is user are seated now the client's requirement is the client requirement is i wanted to secure my network okay but i don't want to disturb my running existing network which is already running okay so let's suppose there is an ip addressing is there already done into this interface or on this in entire topology ip addressing netting is there and vpn is already configured mpl is configured and many other things routing protocols is configured so that the or the, uh, the uh, you know the client don't want to disturb this but they also at the same time they want to secure their network for them with, without you know uh, for any firewalls we have a two operational mode that is the first is a net mode and second is a transparent mode so uh, we can use a transparent mode in this kind of scenario in transparent mode instead of you know uh, replacing the uh, fire uh, the router we can we can install this firewall in between of router and switch so what happening here the packet will inspect when the incoming and outgoing okay so without all these things will be configured in the routers only but for the secure only we can install this kind of you know uh, the firewall in, in between the router and the switches if if i if i install if i use the firewall in the net mode then i need to you know assign an ip address into the firewall firewall interface but when i use a transparent transparent mode then the firewall will act like l2 and l2 device we cannot assign the ip address i believe you all are aware about the l2 and l3 correct correct Yes, sir. Okay, so these are the things that we are going to cover one by one, and after that we have a V wire. V wire is also similar to that. Okay, after that we are having uh, the kind of uh, uh, technology which is known as the HA. HA is nothing but uh, I believe you all are aware about the FHRP technology, first hop redundancy protocol. Under this we have uh, we are having a HSRP, HSRP, VRRP. Okay, VRRP and GLBP. Have you heard about this technology? No, no sir. sir no so let's suppose we have a one uh, isp and with isp we are having one router in this router we so are hsp hs hs means as a backup, 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 backup no sir standby right right, right. 192 168.10.1 we are having a you know interface ip of this so let's suppose there is a one pc okay this pc we can assign an ip address like 192 168.10.2 okay so uh, I will assign a subnet mask like 255.255.255.255.0, right? After that, I need to advertise, I need to assign a, a gateway IP address also like 192.168. At this in, in this scenario, the gateway will be a 10.1, correct? So 10.1, correct now? Correct or not? Correct, sir. I'll show you. So let's suppose I have this in, in this interface, uh, this I don't know network property, and here we can assign what IP address, subnet mask, and the default gateway. So in this scenario, let's suppose this PC is connected with this router. So I will assign here as a 192.168. A 10.2 a subnet mask, and after that 192.168.10.1 only I need to assign, right? If the user wanted to access the outside public network, but the user when the user is inside. When the user is user wanted to access the within a network okay let's suppose one more user is there with the 10.3 so user wanted to establish the communication from one pc to another pc at this time the gateway is not required but the user wanted to you know reach public network by using the private ip, IP address so that time that time our uh, gateway is a must without gateway the fire the router will not accept the uh in the packet and the request and also the uh, they cannot forward the packet when they're not receiving then how can forward right so gateway is nothing but this is the identification the packet is generating from which network and from which pc okay so we have a single option here okay there is a dependency like let's suppose this network is down or this network is down so in in this scenario what happening this this entire communication will be stop right correct yeah. So in this scenario, we need to use a multiple ISP or multiple router or multiple firewall. Okay. In this kind of scenario, we need to configure the 
redundancy okay this is called redundancy uh, so when we are having a redundancy means if one active is down the second will become active and the packet will move from here correct so we have a option yeah, yes, sir. that is called ha so uh, you know ha will we have to configure into this then how how uh, we have a topology and we can create topology for all of you guys I, I have already topology that i will share with you so you you don't need to create a topology again and again to wasting a time if you wanted to establish topology that's better for you know experience and understanding it's up to you i will share also okay so now after that uh, after that HA, uh, we are having uh, HA, right? Where is the HA? So HA, this kind of topology will use, okay? So this HA is a very impressive concept in the firewall. Uh, whatever you have learned about the HSRB, that is a different concept. And the concept is the same, but the way of configuration is a very uh, different. So in the HSRB, uh, we need to configure uh, all this configuration in the both the device right even r1 and r2 but when we talk about the firewall the when you when you configured in a one firewall the uh, uh, automatically uh, all the details will be synced to uh, this firewall so we don't need to assign an ip address also into this interfaces of uh, everything will be synced from uh, active router to the other uh, passive route uh, passive firewall okay active firewall to the passive firewall got it in case of any packet if you see here only ip is there right in the firewall uh, one but no there is no ip in the firewall two correct correct yeah. right? so how yeah. is, these are the way how we are going to configure the fh uh, this uh, ha into this 48 and after that we have uh, some more top uh, concept like ha uh, server load balancing so slb uh, server load balancing let's suppose we are having one amazon office okay so we have uh, some servers here this is a server one this is a server two and this is a server three and this is a server four all are connected with one of the switch okay all are connected with one of the switch and switch is connected with the firewall and firewall is connected with the internet and it this with this internet lot of users are connected right public like like let's suppose this is a aws okay amazon web server uh, amazon or a flip card we can consider as a flip card okay this is a flip card of flip card network so we are like in festival season we are uh hitting the we are trying to shopping something right correct now so the, yes, the 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 request is getting very increased right and the request will come to the firewall and firewall let's suppose there is a one one firewall one server only inside so the traffic is high right the, the, at the in this condition the based on the firewall capacity the firewall there is chances the firewall can down right so in this in, in this kind of scenario uh the service provider like uh, in, uh this flip card can in, increase their server capability correct correct now so how the firewall can distribute the traffic which is coming from the public network how the firewall can uh, try, distribute the traffic to the server one server two server three server four okay so these are the things that is that is now on the server load balancing which is available into the 40 gate only which is not available into any other firewalls clear yes then we yes. have to create, create admin profile like how let's suppose we have a, a you know an ongoing network and we are a senior there and under this uh, uh in the same organization some more new joiners join to the, our organization then how we are going to create a you know read access or uh, uh, read write access for the you know particular engineer okay that is called that will come under the admin profile after that we have a vrrp vrrp is also very impressive as compared to the ccna whatever you have learned into the vrr vrrp virtual router redundancy protocol right so that is a different uh, and here we need to uh, configure in a different way okay clear yes sir so after that uh, uh adbpn is there adbpn we have to configure adbpn like uh in a this kind of manner uh close live and let me delete this just a minute guys close live and adb pen is there so adb pen so how we are going to let's suppose we have a multiple branches okay 
and in the, all the branches we have a 40 gates only okay then how to establish the ipsec tunnel that is adbpn is a, another form of uh, ipsec tunnel only okay so uh, adbpn in ipsec let's suppose we are using ipsec so we have we have we need to create a you know tunnel from h2 look uh, first of all i am just going to you know explain the scenario this is our internet all the branches are connected to their different different internet service provider not only single service provider means different different service providers someone is connected with airtel someone is connected to the another asp but all are having a public network i mean to say okay clear yes so in this scenario we are having a 40 gate 40 gate 40 gate 40 gate and the 40 gate only okay so let's suppose we'll we'll discuss about the ipsec tunnel first like side to side tunnel so when we create a tunnel from ho to bo these all are a bo okay so ha to bos when we created a tunnel in this kind of scenario what happening um, that uh, this this user cannot communicate with this another branch or this branch cannot communicate to other branch or the, in the vice versa the branch to branch communication is not possible in the that is possible but we need to do a, some extra service uh, extra hard work on that we need to establish the communication from here r1 to r3 and r r r3 to this firewall one to uh, firewall last and the firewall first to the firewall third in this kind of scenario we need to do the configuration then then the branch to branch can establish the communication but when we talk about the advpn this kind of scenario is not required once you configure the advpn the tunnel has been created and automatically bo to bo can start the communicating okay so no extra admin services required clear yes so after that guys uh, we have uh, some other other concept like 40 dial up vpn dial up vpn is also available in the 40 gate only nowadays uh, another firewall uh, if you talk about the sophos uh, palo alto any or another they are having ssl vpn only uh, for, but 40 gate is providing ssl vpn along with the dial up vpn as well okay dial up vpn is a free but ssl vpn we need to uh, you know purchase a license to 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 you know enable the ssl vpn services so now another vendors are selling this uh, ssl vpn but still 40 gate is providing the free on the dial up vpn okay that how we are how like let's suppose a work from home pandemic is there okay and work from home is going on okay all the users are connected to their homes okay homes and sitting there uh their their you know broadband connectivity and the, they are connected with the uh, no office network this is our office network and some servers there how this user can access our in you know from outside to uh, in our in in uh the internal server let's suppose we have a uh, you know some just a minute guys just a minute huh? Uh, is it audible now guys yes sir yeah okay so uh, these are the things that uh, that we need to uh, where we are we were around uh, dial up vpn right ssl vpn correct then hd van technology let's suppose we have a multiple isp okay multiple internet service provider and we are having a you know firewall so how we can merge this both the isp with the some you know uh, with the hd van technology so if, if primary isp is goes down the secondary will take all the traffic if again primary is back then how the uh, this secondary will become again again you know secondary and the primary will become a primary so this kind of technology we are also using okay and after that fsso first uh, first sign a single sign on the technology uh, let's suppose we have a one organization uh, we inside there is an ad server in ad server we are having a use merge you know group of users okay and all these servers we just wanted to connect this is connected with the one switch and the same switch we are having a same users okay and we are connected to the internet so this this users wanted to authenticate from the if uh, the ad server and to access the internet they will use the same id password to access the internet they will use the same id password to access the wi-fi they will use the same access password id password i mean to say 
no need to you know for ssl vpn also they need to they need to use a single credential i mean to say uh, to access all the services they required a single credential which is the which is already available into the the server server will automatically sync to the firewall and the device will authenticate from the firewall not to the server okay so all the details will sync over the firewall how we are going to configure that also we will discuss and after that guys in this uh, vdom is there and link aggregation is there link redundancy there and the 40 manager 14 ledger 14 ledger is there let's suppose you have a hundred of firewalls with the hundred in hundred branches you are having and uh, okay so all the branches in a different different location but how you are going to you know manage all these devices from the one one device that is called 40 manager okay how you are going to check this okay how you are going to maintain you know configuration edit update everything you can handle from the single dashboard to the thousand of thousands of uh, firewalls okay and uh, in the same way thousands of firewalls logs you can get up in the single device that is called a 40 minute 40 analyzer that we will also cover so by covering this all the topics we are not just going to the complete the nsc4 uh, uh, also along with we are going to cover the nsc5 as well okay so once you uh, and and in uh, 90 percent cases we will use in a gui and the cli mode also first we'll configure every topics in the graphical user interface mode then we will we'll, we'll see what are the commands and how we are going to use configure this through the cli okay any question guys i'm done from my side any question anyone yeah, I do have one question. You said like about the virtual domain. It's a virtual domain is similar like a, uh, where we are using in Viptel, uh, similar like that's a we manage, no? Uh, you're talking about the uh, virtualization about this uh, lab setup or you're talking about the 40 gate? Yeah, 40 gate, not that so. Like, you know, you said like a virtual domains, like a link aggregation. Link aggregation is a different thing. Like, let's suppose, uh, let me open this. No, no, you said like a previously like a only one application can manage like a different different sites like a hundred sites are there, hundred firewalls are there, we can manage with that server. Yes, yes. Yeah, is that similar like a we manage, no? Like, okay, in Viptela we use one card, yes, we yes. manage. Yes, 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 is yes, 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 yes. That is, you know, uh, everywhere, in every vendor we are having, like if you if you talk about the 40 gate, we have a 40 manager. If you talk about the Palo Alto, we have a Panorama. Okay, Panorama, Panorama. is there. Okay, so like this, only this is a centralized management devices. It will come with the hardware as well as software. Okay, and as well as the virtualization also. So we can we can purchase yeah. a license and we can run this into the, our virtual machine in the Google Cloud or GCP or AWS or anything. Okay. Got it. Guys, anything else? Any other anyone? So by by this uh, journey, you get to know many more things. Okay, uh, not only about the if you are having is basic understanding about the CCNA, then it will be a very easy to understand. Okay, if you are if you don't have that much of a skill, but uh, for that I would like to suggest you guys at least you need to be uh, no you need to aware about the public IP and the private IP. Rest you just left on me. I will uh, I will take care of all of you and how to you know uh, based on your skill set. Everyone is having a different, different skill set. Then according to skill set, I will start from the very scratch of every topics. Every topics will take a, a one and a half hour. And every day we are going to cover one topic from Monday to Friday at the same time, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, at the rest rest of the time uh, from Saturday to Sunday, we'll, we are not going to teach, uh, you know, get take the class. Okay. Okay, guys and if you okay. guys are as i see like all of you are not working right you all of right not working correct correct yes sir so we can we can take a class in the morning also right like 10 to 10 to 12 or 12 to 2 or 2 to no, 4 no no it's not possible to me no sir it's not possible so at what time at after 4 yeah you said that 9 to 11 it's a perfect time 9 to 11 will be tough for me because i need to go to the office office to the, i have multiple batches also but in case of any any chance can you plan by, for 8 to 10 itself i have already batch 8 to 10 so we can we can plan for the 6 to 8 okay 6 to 8 it's not or 7 to 8, to eight. 
What about eight to nine? Eight to nine, I am already having the batches going on. Nine to nine to ten is a free, okay, and seven to eight is a free. Nine to ten, can you plan for a nine to ten? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Okay. So okay. from Monday you onwards, please be available on time. In case of any question, answer, you can text me on the group. I will reply over there. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. See you. Sir. So.